Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I'm doing my what number update is this? And today I'm doing my third update for my 2019 Pan That Palette ABH subculture. It's super funny, I'm now seeing like a theme to my updates where I set goals for myself and then I hit other significant like milestones that have nothing to do with the goals that I set. So uh, I did hit pan on another shade. It's not one that I wanted to focus on this month, <laughs> so I was a bit surprised. But before we jump into that, let's go ahead and take a look at what my palette has looked like for the past couple of months. And here is my palette now. As you can see, I've expanded the pan up here in Dawn. I've also expanded the pan in New Wave and Electric, and I've hit New Pan in Edge. Ah. I was pretty surprised, but also not surprised to hit Pan in Edge. I haven't been reaching for this palette as month, as month. I obviously cannot speak this morning. I have not been reaching for this palette as much over the past month because I have been testing out a few other palettes and really going through my collection. So I, I think I've only really reached for this a handful of times, um, but when I do, I'm going for one of two looks. Either I am doing Dawn with Destiny and Electric all over my lid, or I'm doing Edge, New Wave, and Electric all over my lid. I changed it up a bit today, and I did Edge and New Wave with a Stila Glitter and Glow all over my lids, and I actually really like how it looks. But for the most part, when I've been using this palette, I've been trying to go and use up Edge, because I think I have a, a really good shot of using up that shade completely, just because I can use it all over my lid, and I love the way that it looks. So it was a bit of a surprise when I hit pan on edge just because like I knew I was I knew I had a big dip in this palette but I didn't think I was going to hit pan that quickly. I think I used it like two or three times this month and bam pan. <laughs> My original goal for this month was to focus on access and how I can use it, but unfortunately the times I can reach for this palette are before work. And I think this is like the most colorful I can get at work. Uh, I wore this look, I'll take off the lipstick. Whenever you see me filming in the morning with a colorful lipstick, odds are I'm wearing this for the video and then when it's done I take it off, put a neutral lipstick on, and then I go to work. So I can't really wear something that deep or colorful to work. Like unfortunately I feel like this, I mean I can probably get away with All Star with a light hand, but like Untamed, Mercury, Access, and Rowdy, I those aren't really shades I can wear to work. So I feel like that's where I'm struggling a bit because I can't dip into them when I have the opportunity to. I really need to carve out some more time at night to do some just makeup play time and experiment with those shades. And I haven't been making time for that. So I really do need to start making more weekend playtime, nighttime playtime, when I can experiment with these darker shades. So as I've been focusing on Axis for so long, I think I need to make my next goal something different because it hasn't really been helping. I really want to focus on Destiny and Adorn, these two shades. I have a nice size dip in Destiny. I don't think I can hit pan on it in the next month. But you never know, I might be able to get a couple of really nice looks out of it. And it is a shade I can wear to work if I use a light hand or just use it to deepen out my outer V. And Adorn, while it is kind of a deeper shade, I can get away with this on my lid or in my outer V for a work type of look. So those are the two shades I really want to focus on. I would love to hit uh, Pan on one of them. Don't think that's realistic because I don't really have a huge dip in Adorn. So I think it's going to be a bit, because it did take me a while to hit pan on electric. The pan is expanding pretty quickly, but it did take me a while to get there. I think my go-to look for Adorn is going to be using Roxy All-Star in my transition and my outer V, and then do Adorn all over the lid. And then my go-to look for Destiny, I really like using it with a light hand in my transition and then changing my brush using a more uh, using a more dense brush bringing that into my outer V and all over my lid and then putting electric all over the lid. I think that looks really pretty so I think those are going to be kind of my two go-to looks for the next month and we'll see how much progress I can make on that. One last goal I had for last month was to hit the top of the pan on dawn and I was almost there. 
<laughs> like it's so tiny. Uh, I know I'm going to hit it the next month, so I'm not worried about that. The only thing I might be worried about is I don't know if I'm going to have to repress the shade because I have no idea if it's going to like break or not. I really don't want it to break. I really do want to use the whole thing up, so I'm debating whether or not I want to repress Dawn, but since it's, it's such a soft formula, I don't know if I could do it. So that is everything for this update. If you are working with subculture recently, let me know down below what your go-to looks have been, what you've really been liking. And if you are panning a palette for 2019, let me know down below what palette you are panning and how it's going. Cause this is April, whoa. You know, before we know it, we're gonna be at the halfway mark. Whew. Thank you guys so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.